Time now for a look at the science of fishing with Dr. Bruce Tufts from Queen's University and the host of Getting Schooled, J. Peter Rose. Hi, I'm J.P. DeRose, and we're here with Dr. Bruce Tufts from Queen's University. And today, you know what? We're going to take our rods, we're going to head out on the water, do some fishing, and we're going to get some great answers on some of the science behind why and when we catch fish. Sounds good. Well, you know, Bruce, like, myself included, we get into this big fish mode, and guys just want to catch these big fish, and they have their big fish spots. Are there any things that make big fish different than every other fish in the lake? People that chase big fish realize that big fish are different, right? And so you get these guys that just, this is what they do, is they look for those big fish, whether they're talking about bass or muskies or anything else. They're always chasing big fish. And I think guys that do that a lot will tell you that big fish are different. They don't sit in places that smaller fish sit. You know, there's big fish spots, there's big fish behaviors. Um, and I started thinking about this at one point when I was lecturing because uh, there's a whole field in science that has to do with body size. And as animals get bigger, even the same shaped animal, uh, a lot of things change actually. In terms of fish, there's, there's all these things that go along with big fish that are actually really interesting. When you're catching fish, sometimes you'll find that you know, all the small fish are in one spot, but the bigger fish are in another spot. Or sometimes when there's a fish kill, for example, people will notice only the big fish died. We see that there are actually things about big fish that affect them differently. And uh, it's kind of neat because it also has a, a flip side to that, which is a conservation issue. Uh, because fish, big fish are really valuable. And uh, if guys are, are actually keeping fish, if they want to keep a few fish for dinner, the fish to keep are actually the medium to smaller sized ones. Big fish are actually really valuable for the fishery. Uh, they're ones that we should handle really carefully. And ironically, when you're out fishing, sometimes those big fish, when guys catch a big fish, they want to take a lot of pictures, a lot of measurements. And actually, big fish are the ones you really want to handle carefully, put them back carefully, because they're a little different. They're actually special. Here are Bruce's points on what makes a big fish special. As fish get bigger, their behavior changes. You won't always find larger fish in areas where smaller fish are. Big fish are vital to fisheries, so the best fish to keep are usually the medium-sized fish. Remember to handle big fish carefully and limit their time out of the water when taking photos. 